Hey guys, I'm back. Um, sorry about the sweat. Just got finished exercising. <coughs> Good lord. Um, this review is about The King's Daughter. This movie had so many plots and twists and turns. It was a really good movie. Pierce Bronson played the king. The girl who played his daughter, um, I know her name, but I can't think of it right now. So, like I told you, I'm bad with names. So, anyway, uh, the king's daughter. The king found out that he was dying. This is how the movie starts. And someone told him, which I think was his, um, what you call those people that be in court? The people that, like, do magic and stuff? Like a wizard or something like that? So, oh, my light just went out. So, they, um, let me move closer to this one. So, they, um, told the king that if he captures a mermaid, that he can kill the mermaid, steal her life, and he can live forever. But, you know, this is the olden times. People believe stuff like that. So, anyway, um, he had a daughter, an illegitimate daughter, a bastard, and he had one of his court officers bring her to court. He moved her in his house and everything. Now, the purpose of that, I never understood that, why he moved her into his house. Because first I thought that she was the mermaid and, sh and, and he was going to kill her. But that wasn't the case. I don't know why he wanted her there because he didn't even tell her that he was her father. He didn't tell her that he was her father until, like, middle of the movie. And um, she was so happy that he was her father. And she was like, you've been so nice to me since you moved me in here. He gave her all the best dresses. She had her own lady-in-waiting and all this stuff. So um, she found out about the mermaid. The mermaid was, like, calling to her, like, like, uh, tele telepathy, uh, and, um, uh, was calling to her in her head, so she found her way down there to the mermaid, and she met the guy that captured the mermaid, but he didn't tell her that he was the one who took her from her baby, because the mermaid had a baby and a husband, so... She was saying that the mermaid was talking to her, and she told the mermaid what her father told her, the king, that he was only going to take some of her blood so he could heal some people, and then he was going to let her go, which was not true. That was not true at all, because his true intention was to... um to kill the mermaid and take her life for so he can so he could live forever. So, with that being said... Uh, her and the guy who captured the mermaid, the mermaid, first of all, she can get to your head, let you see stuff. And, uh, she showed the king's daughter that, um, the guy was the, the guy that she was liking, the, the captain, the guy that she was liking, that he's the one who captured her, took her away from her baby and her husband. And, um... The, the king's daughter told the captain, was like, we need to find a way to let the, uh, the mermaid go. Because I don't want him to kill the mermaid. So she went to her dad, the king, and she said the same thing to him. I don't want you to kill the mermaid. And he said, I'm not going to kill her. we just going to get her blood so we can heal the people, you know, the peasants and stuff. So, of course, she didn't believe him. So, while everybody was sleeping, she went back down there to, because he had a special cave thing made to, uh, to house the, uh, the mermaid, because it was like water and stuff down there. But they was giving her dead fish instead of live fish. And she didn't like that. So, she wasn't eating like when she first got captured. And then the king's daughter, after he talked to the mermaid, the mermaid was telling her that they giving me dead fish. I need live fish in order to be able to survive. So they start giving her live fish. So, like I said, after everybody went to sleep, she snuck back down there. And um, her, uh, she didn't get out right away, but the captain and the mermaid got out. The captain got shot. 
trying to save the uh, the mermaid. So the mermaid took him down to Atlantis, saved him, and then brought him back up to the surface. So by then, the uh, king's daughter was on the top of the cliff overlooking the water, and her dad showed up. I was like, how the hell he knew that she was there? So he showed up with all his posse and stuff. And, um, he was, she was telling him that he, you know, he's supposed to be a great man and all this. And he's not acting like her dad right now. Like he, she was just giving him this whole song and dance and he was just standing there staring at her. And then next thing you know, she just jumped off the cliffs. I was like, oh shit, she going to kill herself. Cause it's like rocks and stuff down there. But you know movies, she didn't land on a rock, she landed in the water, so that was the end of that. So she swam out to the captain's ship, they lived together, they went to Atlantis with the uh, with the mermaid, and they lived down there, and then it went off, but it, it was a good movie. Like, I wouldn't mind watching it like two, three times. It was, it was a really good movie, so. But, um... I'm going to do three reviews tomorrow. I'm a little bit tired today. So I only did one. I was supposed to do four today. I, unless I feel better li a little bit later on. But right now I'm only doing one. So it could be this wig is too on tight. It could be that. So, All right, y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure that you uh, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.